welcome to the daily message this is going to be your reading for tomorrow saturday june the 3rd 2023 to check to make sure that data is correct you'll notice i have a different background that's because i'm in a different location we are on eastern standard time right now that has been converted on my scheduling app as well so no problem scheduling a reading if you want to book a private reading with me you can definitely do that but this is a reading for the collective, so it may not resonate with everyone out there. For the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, please come get a personal private tarot reading with either me or your favorite tarot reader out there. We are using the uh, botanical playing cards today. There's no author on here. You might see some people in the background. Sorry about that. All right. Let's see. What's coming in for the collective for Saturday, uh, June the 3rd, 2023, for all signs, all signs that may be watching. Messages and energies for the collective. Now, what are you looking for? I don't know where they are. Yeah, I go. It's okay. That's just mom's. She's going about her business. I told her that I would work around her because it's their house. So work around people when you're a guest. There's going to be noises and sounds and things in the background. Now she's sticking her tongue out at me. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. I Results may vary with this reading. <laughs> results may vary. <laughs> Messages and energies here for the collective. I'll timestamp the reading for you guys in the comments below. I'm glad you got to meet my mom. She's a lovely lady. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and split the deck. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're not currently subscribed to the channel. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. Five of Diamonds, first card out. Five of Hearts, second card out, 55 on the table. I'll tell you what I think about that. Eight of Hearts, yes, there's change happening for the collective. Um, conflict at first, I'm seeing a lot of conflict and I'm seeing um, um, some isolation, possibly some financial trouble, some illness for some of you. Others of you could be facing a loss. This could be a death in the family. This could be a loss of a loved one or just emotional loss here. But there is rapid change with the eight of hearts. We are walking away and leaving situations that no longer serve us. 55, this is almost, um, when I get three fives in a reading, that tells me that you can expect um, some major conflict and changes coming up in your life. But with uh, two fives in the reading and an eight, I see that this is change that is moving you in a direction of uh, walking away from people and people and situations that no longer serve you. So we have the queen of pentacles underneath the deck and that is an earth sign energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So you, you could be an earth sign or you could be dealing with an earth sign, but this is someone that's very good with finances. This is someone that's very good around with the home and family. I could be speaking to a mother here, a grandmother, aunt, uh, uh, you know, a TT, your TT, or something, someone like that. Someone here um, is very caring, very nurturing. Um, so this is a person that could be going through these changes right now. If this is not you, this could be someone you know. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, where this is the underlying theme or challenge of this reading. Okay. And then for the flowers here, for those of you who are into um, plants, plant medicine, uh, plant meanings, we have Dyer's Green Weed. Uh, Latin word is, uh, Latin terminology is Genista tinctoria, and that came up in the reverse position. This is a yellow flower here. Okay. And then we also have plumeria. I'm sure you've heard of plumeria tea or plumeria, is very fragrant, uh, or also can be used as an herbal tincture. Um, beautiful flower here. 
Plumeria, Dyer's Greenwood, and we have Hidden Lily. Okay, so I'm seeing the colors yellow, white, and um, maybe a reddish orange coming through. So that could be, that can mean something to someone out there, maybe not. Um, if we add everything up, we do have 18, which reduces to a nine. 18 resonates with the moon. Okay, so Cancer's energy, Scorpio's energy, Pisces energy. We also have Taurus and Scorpio on the table, as well as Saturn and Pisces, and we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So those energies may resonate with you at this time. So change, loss, and moving on for the collective here. And possibly there is someone being in the challenge position here with the Larkspur flower family. Delphinium Consolida. And I'm hearing consolation. Someone may need consolation at this time. So uh, support, um, I'm seeing someone might need financial support, emotional support, um, or something of that nature, okay? Um, but possibly this could be for someone that's usually very stable, okay? So this could be, like I said, someone's mother, aunt, grandmother, uh, TT or someone like that could be going through a hard time right now. So offer them some support if you can. Uh, if not, then whatever. Mind your business, stay in your lane, that kind of thing. But 18 reduces to a nine. Nines talk about wholeness, completion, and perfection in the tarot. And so there is a cycle that's being wrapped up here. Um, I'm almost envisioning um, the end of a tough cycle with my Moonology cards, which are my Oracle deck that I brought, and I don't even need to read those because I'm, I'm already getting the moon energy. But yes, we also have Sagittarius's energy here. We're going into a full moon in Sagittarius, I believe, on the third, fourth, or fifth. I forget. I think it's the fourth or the fifth. Don't quote me on that. Um, so there could be some hearts and wounds here that are um, being addressed at this time. So anyway, this is what I have for you guys. I hope this reading has helped. Um, comment below if you like and um, like I said I'm going to be in a different location for a little while I am kind of taking uh, some time off but I am going to continue with my practice so if you would uh, like to book a reading with me I will be available to my clients and I will also be continuing to do readings on my channel so with that being said I send you guys off with many blessings love and light take care of each and every one of you